and my name is Yolita Brilliant. I'm the owner of Brilliant Massage and Skin Care and today I wanted to make a video how to better hire employees. If you are a business owner and you um, want to expand your business, the inevitable part is hiring on people and help. Now, uh, I've learned over the past couple years since I started hiring people that attitude is everything. And I've, you know, I've listened to some books, I listen to audio all the time, and there is one great book that actually says the exact same thing, Hiring for Attitude by Mark Murphy, I think. I'll try to put it down link below. Um, so definitely educate yourself first. You know, watch some uh, business videos like this, which is a great start. Get some books on Audible because, I mean, but honestly, even if you do get the books, you know, you might mess up first couple times and even like experienced uh, HR people mess up like you can know exactly if the employer really gonna be a good fit, but there is some things that you can avoid. Um, now, I don't believe in this mainstream hiring policy. Um, you know, we have our policies in our spa that employees have to follow but uh, we didn't have them at the beginning at the beginning I was kind of afraid of hiring telling people what to do and things like that but policies is not telling people what to do it's just to make sure it's orderly now um, when I first started hiring I um, kind of like hired a Facebook or someone recommended me someone and that's not a good way to hire you want to hire from like uh, Indeed or Glassdoor because that's where you're gonna find professional people and it's not gonna be like oh you know we're friends like of Facebook so I don't have to really listen they don't look at you like a boss sort of thing maybe um, that's not necessarily there's always exceptions to the rule but you know to find more professionals you always need to go where professionals are so look in the door glass door and um, you know all this like thinking oh I need someone with five years experience and this sort of qualification um, be flexible you know honestly I rather take someone just out of school who has a lot of enthusiasm and uh, loves learning than someone who's not such a great attitude and maybe they're already kind of bored of doing it or they bring like things from all other workplace that they um, did and try to implement at your workplace but that's not how you do things so um, I honestly rather I don't care about the experience that much I think the number one thing really is the attitude regardless if they have experience or don't have experience that's what's gonna determine if they're gonna be a good fit for the team because you want to have someone that's positive that's gonna be good with customers and that's going to make your business successful and someone that you know respects what you do your hard work to bring in and leads for everyone or whatever type of business you have you know this advice doesn't just apply to business or massage or skincare or makeup um, but you know you want of course you want some someone who is smart and like I said willing to learn um, if they don't have yet good ex a lot of good ex like years of experience but they um are cheerful and they're and they're are quick to learn you know they're not um like not willing to to learn or you know so you can kind of understand that you know hire on them for a trial basis no promises of like full-time position right away I feel like that's the best thing to do at the beginning and you'll see you know if they start changing things in your workplace without asking and or gossiping things like that you know right away that's not a good fit if they don't show up on time you know that's not going to be a right fit and I'm very forgiving at the beginning to people if they mess up like times or whatever you know there is a time to like get used to the new place and whatnot but if it a month later it's still going on you know you know there's something wrong they're not going to be reliable because you know you have employees so that you could sleep good at night and not worry will they show up tomorrow or will they be late or will they say something to a client that's not appropriate or not or be rude or something like that you know so um you know you you don't need to be friends with your employees um 
that's I feel like not good the best is to have like professional relationship yes always be friendly but you know you don't have to go constantly like go to lunch together or you know do stuff like that um, so this is my tips and definitely check out that book hiring for attitude I think it's Mark Murphy let's see do I have this on my laptop here yes Mark Murphy um, there's other books too on audible really great hiring for attitude and I just had, you know, there are some other ones, but I like this one a lot because after my experience a couple years, I found that's what works the best, you know. Um, and find people that want to contribute without you asking them to help to like clean up or things like that. But don't be afraid, you know, just go ahead, hire, you learn as you go. So like any other skill doesn't happen overnight. So I hope this video was helpful. I would appreciate thumbs up if you um, could because it helps um, the algorithm for YouTube for you know this video show up for more people. And post in the comments down below if you ever hired and any hiring tips. I would appreciate that. Um, you can also uh, book a consulting session with me if you want and I'll help you out if you have any specific um, issue going on with hiring or not sure how to start doing that and also we offer massage and facials and makeup in our place I'm wearing funny makeup today because I did Instagram picture but anyways so uh, one last thing I wanted to say I've seen people um, just um, what I was gonna say I've seen people um, Oh, um, one last thing I wanted to say, like I've seen people like suffering with bad employees and you don't have to do that. If it's not a right fit, you know, it's better to just let them go. Gonna be for you and for them, it's gonna be much better. You only live one life. This is it. That's all it's given to you, this one life. So go ahead and let them go. There's plenty of people in the world to find other ones. Don't live in... Um, lack mentality. Okay guys, have a brilliant day. Bye!